Hey everybody, it's Book of Catherine. <clears throat> so I was just uh, on my way to my vacation and we stopped and we saw a diner and I was looking for food to eat uh, because of how we eat now with the ketogenic uh, diet, which we always say when we go off of it and we call that, uh, we call that almost the diet now, like we're like, oh, uh, when we're on the diet because we're, we almost the way that we eat now is our regular way of life, the way we eat. We're eating protein is our regular just way of eating. And then every once in a while we eat uh, like a ton of sugar, if that makes sense. And so, uh, but usually we're just eating the protein, right? So what I wanted to tell you is that now I'm reading normal menus, which I normally don't do. I'm not out there reading menus all the time. And I noticed when I looked at this diner, it was listing the salads, da 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 da, da. And then it said diet menu. And I was like, wait a minute, what? And it was just like, oh, low veggies, low pasta. And I was like, it's so interesting to me that the food that's actually just healthy for you that won't kill you is actually listed as something negative, like diet, something that you're taking away something. And I was like, no, that's just the food that won't kill you. It's not a diet food. It's not something that it's just food that you, that's the food just used to be that way. That's the way food used to be made. That's just food like served in the portions that it used to always be served in. That's the way diners used to always make food. That's the way it used to always be served. That's just, it should almost be called old school meals. Honestly, those meals should be called old school meals, not diet meals. And so I find it very interesting that we keep calling them diet meals as if you're missing out on something. When in reality, you're actually gaining quite a bit. And often they taste a lot better. There's a lot more to them, a lot more flavoring to them. And I wish restaurants would invest more in them because, I mean, they'll have a customer for a lot longer time if they actually paid attention to that diet section. They don't have a lot there either. With the ketogenic diets and the things that are going on, there are really some amazing, very, very delicious recipes. People have forgotten because of the craze of just doing sugar, 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 and piling all this sugar into their meals and just making that the central thing, even if it's a meat meal or, um, or salt, just sugar and salt, that's all they push into a meal. They have forgotten spices, and we used to be a nation that loved spices. We just put spices in everything, and I've really rediscovered spices since doing the ketogenic diet. You can make incredible things that I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything because I have these amazing spices that I can put into anything. It just tastes absolutely incredible, all these tastes that I have forgotten. And restaurants could be doing that, making these incredible dishes and these absolutely phenomenal tasting things and just be calling it old school dishes that will not kill you. Instead, they just call it diet and then they give you a plate of steamed chicken and that's it. That make you think that, you know, eating the stuff that's big and will kill you is the only way to live. Like that's really living. When it isn't, it's not really living. It doesn't taste as good as it could. It is like way worse for you and it doesn't feel as good longer in the long run. This other food that you eat, oh my gosh, you feel fuller, longer, stronger, all these things. And not only that, but when you eat that stuff, you don't have to exercise to lose weight on it. That's the most amazing thing is that you can eat that food and not have to exercise. Like I, I live most of my life in bed, right? When I move is when I videotape for you guys. And I've lost 150 pounds. I've lost 150 pounds eating protein because I'm sick in bed. I've lost a whole person just being sick in bed, eating protein. That's it. And I don't do a severe diet. I do the ideal protein diet. And I really, really like it. It doesn't upset my tummy. I have such a tummy that's so upset from all the medicine that I have to take. I have to take a lot of medicine for this head of mine. This head of mine, this central nervous system of mine is really, really, really messed up. And so I have to take a lot of medicine in order to be functioning, like be able to talk to you every single day. And, and there it goes, my brain just goes. And so it's time for me to go. Anyway, so I just want to tell you guys that I don't think of that food as diet food. I wish they'd stop listing it as diet. That really pisses me off because I'm like, man, it really makes you think that you're missing out on something when really that's the good food. That's the food that's where it's at. And they just make it so bland. Everything on menus is just tailored to make you think that going on a diet is a bad thing when it's just, you have so much more energy and it makes you so much more alive and the spices that are available there and the way that food tastes there is so much better. And it's just really how everything used to be made for thousands and thousands of years is on that diet menu and they call it diet. I think it's ridiculous.
Anyway, the terminology just kind of is so wrong to me. It's such a narrative. All right. Love you. Bye. To do videos. If I have time. Videos. If I have time. Ugh. Videos. If I have time. Bye. Subscribe.